17 Globemaster 3. This is a 2005 model. It's got almost 7,000 hours, almost 6,000 landings. In FY 2013 uh, uh, adjusted dollars, this is almost one, it's almost $250 million a cut. So take a good look. Uh, if you figure there's 310 million men, women, and children in the United States, and 250 million, that comes out to about like 78 cents a man, woman, and child in America. So pick a nut, ribbon, or a washer you bought it. Um, it's expensive, but this plane, I argue, is uh, well worth it. Very versatile. All of us are multiple veterans in and out of Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, I'd rather go to Maui, personally. But, uh, um, Unlike some of the airplanes that you guys uh, started your careers in, we only need three people to operate this plane, two pilots and a loadmaster. This gentleman is sitting in the co-pilot seat, I'm in sitting in the pilot seat. Why I'm sitting here is this way I can talk to everybody. No uh, flight engineer. No flight engineer. The flight engineer's up here, the navigator's up here. Uh, we have one loadmaster, cargo special. So three people to operate this plane, 16 hour crew duty day, five people. Three pilots and two load masters for a 24-hour duty day, and that's what we're using. We're going in and out of Iraq and anymore, excuse me, not out of Iraq anymore, but Afghanistan. Afghanistan is a 24-hour day, so it's eight hours over, eight hours coming back, and whatever time it takes on the ground. Um, if you notice, we have sticks, not a yoke. Sir, why don't you grab the stick with your left hand? Excellent, you can be a pilot, you know your left from your right. Now grab it with your right hand. <laughs> Feels better, doesn't it? Okay, so the co-pilot's always going to fly with the right hand, the pilot's always going to fly with the left hand. One hand free for the throttles. Big number to remember on a C-17 is four. Four engines, four throttles, four hydraulic systems, four fuel systems, four electrical systems, four digital flight control computers, four inertial navigation units, one bathroom. That's a problem. <laughs> okay. We only need 3,500 foot by 90 foot wide gravel strip on night vision goggles to land at almost a half a million pounds. Yes, sir. You said you had one bathroom. One bathroom. We had no bathroom. Well, you guys are tougher than I am. What can I say? We've got a P tube also, but. You should see what the crew's is. Oh, yeah. I, I don't even want to know. But, uh, that's quick and dirty. And what. Uh, Quick question, anyone? What percentage of the time is the unit on active duty? I think you're flying missions all the time, right? Well, uh, we have we've had guys on active duty orders since October 17, 2001, when we invited when uh, when we invaded Afghanistan, and we still have guys on active duty orders right this very moment. Uh, in addition, that's in addition to the you know two weeks of annual active duty tour that we have anyway. Uh, Full-time active duty. Every Friday we have one C-17 leaves March, goes to the East Coast on the Germany, has two crews. The plane is going nearly 20, 20 hours a day and the crews are alternating uh, flying. They fly every other day. I'm an American Airlines pilot in my life. Sir, you know, I, I look put it to you this way. I schedule time off. <laughs> I'm, I'm gone a lot. I spend a lot of time in airplanes, either traveling to airplanes, flying airplanes, or going to airplanes. So. How many miles to the gallon on this thing? Or how many gallons? Uh, you know what, we don't go in gallons, sir, we go in pounds, so this plane holds uh, 245,000 pounds of fuel. With that amount of fuel, we can fly from L.A. to London on the fuel. So, uh, whatever, I don't know, whatever, we burn about 16,000 pounds per hour up in cruise, so that's uh, about 